Hey yo, Jiggly got here with some more Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, the Director's Cut. The last time we meandered around Marib like a cow looking for its last dump, but eventually got free of there and wound up in this little temple place out at Bull's Head Hill. Unfortunately, as we came in, the door closed behind us and we found the dead body of Klazaner. Anyways, without further ado, let us continue. Now oh, it looks like we've got this penis-shaped thing fucking carved in the stone back here. I couldn't take the inscription with me. All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In Occidenta Sita Est... In Ora Mundi. Okay. That would have to do. Um. Plaster of Paris? No. Crease paint? Okay. Let's take a look at it again then. In Occidenta Sita Est. In Ora Mundi. Okay. And then we've got this here. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one, redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. Hmm. How about our lovely toilet chain? Um, our rod. Grease paint. Okay. Perhaps not. We'll take a gander at the door, a closer look. How far over this way can we go? Not too far. I couldn't help but notice faint bloody finger marks on the rock, as if somebody had tried to claw their way out. I examined the door carefully, high and low. I looked for levers and rings to pull, panels and buttons to push like in the movies, and found nothing. I couldn't help but faint, as if Okay. Not a good sign. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. Let's take a look back at the stiff. So much for whips, they're all show. So much for whips, they're all show. I've done more fun things in my life than searching a corpse. But as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. I cautiously flicked open the jacket. Aha! A leather pouch was tucked behind Klausner's body. Hey, what's this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. There was nothing else in the pouch. Okay. The mouth's opening. It must be Ultar. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Stay where you are! You! Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. 
Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Well, shit. It is Khan, a.k.a. Merlin, a.k.a. whoever else he wants to be. Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You wanna look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah, he was carrying some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. I don't think so. Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Not if I shoot you in the head. When I fall, the lens might get broken. Yes. You plead convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you will live to see another day. Perhaps. Was there anything else? Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Oramundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performit lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. We'll die like a man, thank you. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well, what the heck? <laughs> and there we go, we finally got to use the joy buzzer. Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. I, uh, I brought you a present from Syria. Oh, Georges, you shouldn't have bothered. What is it? This. A necklace. It's rather heavy. Ethnic craftsmanship at its most rustic. Oh, of course, I love it. You do? It will always remind me of you. <laughs> yeah, have a toilet, Chey. I'd better get back to the quest. Okay, so the priest should 
by now have finished polishing that fucking chalice. <coughs> The priest was still busy with the chalice, so I decided to have another look around the church. We went to Syria and back, and he's still doing the damn chalice? Come on. Oh well, it's a good thing that we've got something else to do here. Let us take our lens and pop it in this scroll. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Per disciplinum meum lux fidebus. Hey! Okay. So let's tidy this up somewhat. Aha. Okay. Looks a little tidier, at least. Bring it all the way around. To there. Tidy that up. Oh, look at that, it changes its shape. We want that back end one though. Roughly like so, no, grab the other one. Fine. Bring it around some more, and bingo. The distortions came sharply into focus. It was a Knight Templar burning at the stake, and below him a date in Roman numerals. A Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Let me see. M, C, 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 X, I, V. That's thirteen fourteen. Well, a yar, space lobster. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Well, I could have just, but I w other than di per disciplinum. Okay, so anything else? A Knight Templar. Let me third. You done with that yet? Dude, really? Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wall tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? Okay. Let me see. Yeah. 
Yeah, we already did I that. noticed. Yeah, and what does that know? We... Boy, what a shine you got on this. Merci. It is all in the wrist action. Okay. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I didn't have time to. Well, we don't want to sit around. We want to go over here and take a look at this. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey! Maybe these biblical references mean something. A jumble of letters are carved into the side of the knight's tomb. You must look for and highlight a number of biblical verse references comprising of the name of a book followed by a chapter verse in Latin numerals. So, for example, Luke chapter 8 verse 2 would be displayed as Luke. 8 plus 2. Okay. Must highlight all verses. Highlight the full verse reference and the letters will stay lit. Otherwise, the letters will fade. George will read the verse references once they are all highlighted. Okay, well, this is another new um, puzzle. So, let's see. So I've got to light it up like that, okay. Corinthians. Corinthians 14.5. Not much to go on, but it must have meant something. If I examine the tomb more closely, there might be other clues to find. Okay, what else do we have here? Psalms. Psalms 2221. Okay, what else is sitting around in here? Was that one Joram? No. Uh, Cappy? <laughs> I don't know. There's another Psalms there. Psalms 32 7. The numbers refer to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. I'm not really good with Bible verses outside of the obvious. Uh, and I don't think that's one. A Jotam. What else is here?
why am I thinking Joram? No, that's not one. That's not one. That's not one at all. Um. Maybe it's back to front. Yeah. Um. That's a stretch. Ah, the Bible verse of Ribulus. No, that's not all of them. Now that my attention had been... There was... I... Okay, so I'm missing one. At least. So we know that there's Psalms. Psalms 22-21. If I examine the two more closely, there might be other clues to find. Psalms 32, 7. The numbers refer to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. And then we've got Corinthians. Corinthians 14, 5. But do they go down like that, I wonder? Dull. Uh. Oh, this is shit. Rex and Mund. Yep. Happy. Oh, hang on. Is this one here, John? Going down? John 4 11. There were no more references to find, but a series of Roman numerals ran around the plaque. I made a note in case they meant something. Psalms 32 7, John 4 11, Corinthians 1 4 5, and just one more Psalms 22 21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Mm-hmm.
I need to talk to the priest. Hello again, Father. Bonjour, Monsieur. How pleasant to speak to you again. Is the right hand window original? Oui, Monsieur. No, that's just the window Catch again. Catch you later. Au revoir. Uh, maybe we can use the chalice on the rod. I doubt it, but yeah. On the end of on the end of the stack. Hmm. I think everything here is done. Let's check out the car. It was hard to believe it was the same chalice. Now the light gleamed off its perfect surface. Well, I'd hope so. You know, we went for a trip to Syria in the time it took for him to polish that fucking thing. Um, we can't head back to Spain yet. Maybe we can go and hit Andre up. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In Occidenta Sita Est in Ora Mundi. The island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange, that map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. Uh, that is not a good idea. Okay. While I was in Syria, I <coughs> saw a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you. Not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the Institute Hermetique de Naval. The statue is beneath the foundations. It was discovered by some workmen while renovating the building. Can you tell me any more about the statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now. A bearded head. The base of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. He claimed it looked like blood. Blood? That's right. Okay, well, let's head there. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Our next lead. There we are. Sight the Bahamut. Baphomet. Oh. The painter didn't seem to regard the painting as too important. Not as important as a cigarette break, anyway. The painter had a pot of gunmetal gray primer hanging from the barrier. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoke so stylishly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. Merci. Vive l'indifférence. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. Oh, when I finish my break? An interesting concept, monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow too? Okay, let me put things differently. 
What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris and to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, I'm not a very responsible person. What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Mm, nothing. Nothing. So what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but uh, la. You couldn't be bothered to join. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, though. I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Three-piece suits, crocodile-eyed attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? Has a guy calling himself Merlin been nosing around? Was he wearing a t-shirt with my name is Merlin on it? I doubt it. Then how the hell am I supposed to know his name just by looking at him? Huh? Have you seen this man before? Yes, he asked me a lot of questions, just like you. I've got a sewer key. Yeah, I used to work in the sewer. Oh? What happened? I had a cigarette break in a pocket of methane. A manual cover landed on the other side of the Seine and I was sacked. <laughs> I have some plaster of Paris. Amazing. Have you ever seen anything like this? Yes, it's a communion chalice. I know, you know, I used to be an altar boy. You? Yes, me. What's so funny about that? Uh, nothing. A greasy tissue. Don't get it too close to my cigarette, monsieur, or there'll be a conflagration. <laughs> I was pretty sure the shaken shock had shot its bolt in Syria. Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. Okay, so we... sort of know that... Khan's been poking around by the sounds of it. The doorway was full of assorted old tea chests, cardboard boxes, and so on. All empty and all uninteresting. I couldn't see any use for a collection of dirt and half bricks. The doorway led to an old utility closet that had lost its door. There was nothing interesting in there. A thermostat was mounted over a radiator. The radiator was pumping out heat as the thermostat was cranked right over to full. No wonder it was warm in here, even with the door open to the chill of fall. There was a telephone on the far wall. A guard stood by a door I guessed led to the excavation. He looked pretty pompous. Well, not so much pretty, just pompous. I couldn't imagine what I'd achieved by turning the dial. Hi? Uh, excuse me? Oui? So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy. I just didn't realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. That's a secret. It wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said, Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? What, like a history pop test? No, <laughs> like a test. Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past him. It sure is hot in here. I have to have the door open to allow the workmen access, so why not? I turn the heat up. You could wrap up warm. I have my gloves if it gets cold, but why bother when it's warm anyway? 
Do you recognize this name? Merlin. No. Have you seen this man before? Oh, you have. Uh, no. I got this plaster from Ireland. Not an exciting souvenir. I've got... I thought better of showing him the chalice. He might be on the conspiracy's payroll, and I didn't want to risk it. Oui? You have... A sudden urge to sing. Care to join me? No, no singing in here. <laughs> Look, a tissue stained with grease paint. Ah, just what I've always wanted. If you give me that, you can enter through the door. Really? Of course not. What would I want with an old tissue? This gadget is a sewer key. So it is. Hmm, maybe not. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door's locked, monsieur. Well, I want to go to the bathroom. Hi again. Please. What is it? I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. The door was locked. <laughs> what a fool. On the key ring was a big old key that looked like it might fit the excavation door. Mm-hmm. Being in a charming comfort station like this made me think fondly of the toilet in Syria. That place was kept in pretty good order. At least, it had been until I vandalized it. Still, it was all for a good cause. The thing felt really hot. Big demands seemed to be being made on it. Okay, so what we really want here is that. Oh boy! Dirty soap! How do they do that? Take the key. Perhaps I could make a copy of the key. The key had made a clear imprint in the soap. The bar of soap had the imprint of a key in it. And now, we take our trusty plaster of Paris. I knew keeping that plaster was a good idea. With the plaster and the imprint, I was on the right lines. I had filled the key's imprint in the soap with dry plaster. And now we you want can't to make a that. cast without wetting the plaster. Lovely. But wet plaster alone does not make a cast. I used the dryer to speed up the process. Well, it had taken a while. But I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Mm-hmm. Certainly. Monsieur, don't go with my keys. Hi again. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Yeah, it's a good thing that that dude's upstairs with some gun metal. Talk paint. to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Hey, monsieur, get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Pot. Hmm.
Hey, you! Get away from my dumpster. Okay. Hi, it's me again. What now? I made this key out of plaster. Oh, Schrödinger! How clever! How pointless. Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after itself. Couleur. Hello, Nico. It's me. Hi, Georges. What's happening? I'm at the excavation, but they won't let me in. Damn! We need to know what's in there. Don't worry. I've got a scheme. I'm going to need your help, though. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? A painter. I need to get at his pot. Oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him. <laughs> How would you like to talk to you, sexy Hi, it's lady? Me again. What now? You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. What a schmuck. And while we're at it, why not take a look at the dumpster? A well-used wheelbarrow was sitting by the rubble-filled dumpster. Okay. To well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me, and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? Why, abuse. Ah, oh, well. I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available. Oh. <laughs> Hi again. What is it? I need to use the, uh, the toilet again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Hmm, never mind. Here's the key. Thank you very much. We'll take the key. Uh... I wasn't about to wash my hands in this place, so I didn't need to dry them. Yeah, but we might want to dry this wet key. No? Now, I'd substituted the fake key for the excavation key. It looked okay, but felt false. Hmm. Hi again. What is it? I couldn't give him the keys. The false key looked pretty convincing, but it felt exactly like what it was. Painted plaster. He was bound to detect it. Talk to you later. Au revoir. The door was locked. Okay, can we take it over there? The thing felt really hot. Big demands seemed to be being made on it. I didn't need to use the soap. I wasn't about to wash my hands in this place. Okay, can we use the key ring on it then? I didn't need to get near to tell the toilet needed cleaning. Hmm, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm.
But no, not that. Okay, what am I missing in this room? <coughs> Unless I need to go out there and use the thermostat thing. No. Turn it up higher. I turned the heating off. As I'd hoped, the guard put his gloves on. Ha ha! Hi again. What is it? I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I couldn't get to the door while the guard was there. Well. Hmm. Actually, maybe we can use Nico this time to distract the guard. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, George. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the phone! Yeah, who is it? How should I know? What am I, your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on. I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. You refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? You just stand around all day. I have a highly responsible job. Pa, don't pa, me, you elephantine oaf. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent -a cop like you. All epaulette and no brains. Why you? This looked set to carry on for some time. It was too good an opportunity to miss. Okay, let's get in that door. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So in we are, and I think this is a good place to leave for now. This has been Jiggly Gut with Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templates, the Director's Cut. Join me next time, and we shall take a look around this excavation site. Till then, see you later. Peace out.